In this video, I'll be sharing six simple tricks to help you edit video faster. The first tip is to edit on SSD drives. Editing on SSD drives and not mechanical drives will definitely speed up your editing workflow. Hard drives are great for storing projects, but always transfer your project to a separate SSD if you want to speed things up. If you want to make things run even faster, then you can use another SSD drive for your project or production files. There are affiliate links below in the description to the SSDs that I would recommend for video editing. You can also make your own, which I will share with you in a future video. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, then take this opportunity to subscribe. A very simple way to set up your hard drives is as follows. You should have a primary drive where you're storing your footage, a second drive to back up your footage, and it's also recommended to have a third drive as well. And then for video editing, one SSD drive for storing your video footage, and another SSD drive dedicated to your project or production files. I will be explaining this in greater detail in a following video. The next tip is to use proxies. This is by far the tip that will increase your editing workflow the fastest. If you're not already editing with proxies, then learn how to set up and create your own encoding and ingest proxy settings. Once you have your proxy set up, the first thing that you should be doing when you start with any project or production is to create proxies for all your videos. This will speed up your editing process and allow you to scrub through footage exceedingly fast. It normally doesn't take too long to make proxies and I don't know what I would do without adding this step to my editing workflow. The next trick is to use a timer. I personally use an app called Toggle, which is a simple timer that can run in the background while you are editing. When you start to get tired, bored or distracted, then you know that you're on the timer and you have to continue editing no matter how you feel at the time. You might be a bit tired and then realize, hey, I've only been editing for 38 minutes and I know I can get a lot more done before I take a break. This tip has really helped me speed up my editing workflow and get a lot more done in a shorter period of time. If I know I need to finish a video today, then I will put a timer on and work as hard as possible until I complete the task. And in the end, you have a reference as to how long it took you to edit that particular video which will give you a realistic idea about how much time you need to allocate yourself for your next similar project. Likewise, you are also able to record how many hours per day you are allocating to certain tasks. Really basic stuff I know, but I'm always surprised how many people don't have a record of the work that they are doing on a daily basis, which is an easy way to hold yourself accountable. The next tip or trick is to create a system. Create a system to work on large projects by breaking them down to small bite-sized chunks. If you know you have 20 videos to edit, then don't try and smash one video at a time. Break each video down into small processes and tasks that are small and manageable. Then mark each process as done every step of the way. This will give you the confidence to continue without getting despondent as you will know exactly where you are and which video you are editing. Be realistic about how long each task will take. And if you don't get it done by the date that you are aiming for, then just carry on pushing and do the best that you can. Be realistic about your deadlines and know that it's normal to encounter a lot of challenges and obstacles during your edit. Every video editor experiences a dip towards the end of long projects, but it's important to carry on marching through the hardest parts of the project and not to give up. The next tip is to use a pair of studio headphones to silence out the world around you and block out unwanted noises and distractions. A pair of studio headphones is my secret weapon to getting a lot of video editing done. You can't just get up and go grab something to eat or drink without having to take them off. This will make a question of what you're about to get up and do is really more important than the video that you are editing. Most often than not, you will decide to stay and continue editing, knowing deep down in your heart that really you don't need to get up right now and it's better just to carry on working. Having a pair of headphones in your head is also a really strong signal to others that you are in the zone and you don't wish to be disturbed while you are editing. So they can work in both ways, helping you to edit faster and stay focused. The next tip is to pick the best time of the day to work and make a habit of it. We all know when we work our hardest and it really all depends on your personal lifestyle. You might find yourself unable to concentrate during the day and you may prefer to edit at night. Or you might notice that you get a lot of editing done in the first four hours of your day. The objective is to find a time when you are able to work your hardest and then focus on getting as much done during that period and dedicate the rest of the day to other tasks that aren't as demanding. 
It's far better to work hard when you're at your best and then rest a bit and then hit another hard editing session later that day than it is to sit behind your computer the whole day and work slowly. Make a point to be fully concentrated and pumped up while you're editing. And if not, take a break, go for a five minute walk, come back and get as creative and focused as possible. I know that a lot of this is incredibly simple, but I thought I would share this with you to help you if you're busy editing or battling to find the time or energy to edit. I've just finished a two month long project that was more than 30 hours of raw footage and it was a huge task to undertake. And I'm about to start a really big project and all of this can be very overwhelming to get everything done. So create a system and a time of the day that works for you and work hard to stick to it. This could be completely different to everyone that you know and that doesn't matter. What's important is that it works for you. If you found this video interesting then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and let me know in the comments what are your tips and tricks to edit video faster. I'm always learning and it would be awesome to hear your tips and tricks that you have to share. And if you enjoyed this video, then take a look at this one over here. It's right there. Click it.